Hey guys, Rock and Robo here with some more Hero Coliseum. It's time actually doing a live game. So, uh, yeah, enjoy this against Emac DC1 with his character Mads. Not faced this person before, I don't think. But level 95, so a should be a good experience play using my slow up second deck. Because why not? And it's a Toa, wonderful. I've actually picked the worst deck to be fighting this person with. And uh, it's the health one. Wonderful. Super Saiyan for Goku. Um, so the tower is going to go down this turn. Got to try and kill this. Goku can't survive that. Um, let's go with that. Okay. Um, Bardock's dead and I've not killed Vados. That's not a good start. There's no way I'm going to outspeed. At least I don't think there is. Oh, shh. Bardock's attack got swapped. So Vados definitely isn't dead. Oh, dear. Crap! Anyone else could have had their attack swapped and it wouldn't have mattered. Oh no, Trunks had his attack. No. No, it was Bardock. Had to be Bardock, didn't it? Even if he hadn't, I'd have struggled to kill Vados, but I needed him. Oh dear. Well, we've done some damage to his master, but that's not much of a consolation. Maybe I should have gambled and just stuck trunks on his own down the middle. Shite. If he hadn't accounted, I had I may have had a chance to live. Shit, and now Trunks is going to get hit. Oh, F off! <laughs> Two counters, really? Oh, God. I don't know how I'm going to win this. I don't care about my ultimate gauge at the minute. Oh, God, Trunks, you've got to go out. <sighs> I'm going to hope he runs the same setup. If he does, there's a chance I could win this turn. But it's not, because he's taking too long. It's that Toa. She just breaks the game. And it makes me sad. That's one of the many problems with Hero Coliseum. That's why it's broke beyond repair at this point. Like, there are so many things wrong with this game now. Can you please swap Piccolo's stats, please? Is that too much to ask? If you swap Piccolo's stats, we've actually got a decent chance of doing something this turn. 7,000. I think it's what Piccolo stats. Everybody else's attack is too high. Crap, did I go first then? I didn't mean to. Oh no, did it swap Goku's stats? Yes, it did. Oh dear. I mean, Ultra Instinct Goku still kept his, but that's not going to be enough. Oh my god. This is just irritating. 
But that's Toa. That's what she does to this game. I only have her in one deck, and that's in my um, my waifu deck. I haven't. I don't use her in any other deck because she's so cheap. In my opinion, that's just my opinion of it. I think she's a very cheap figure. I just don't see how I can win this. With that damn tower. It's just so boring to fight towers. I fought one yesterday and won, but... That was that was a good game, to be fair. That was a very good game. I think I'm just gonna have to go as I did this turn. Maybe hope that she swaps Goku's stats back around. Also, I fucked this turn up by not going second. I deliberately went first, and I don't know why I did. I'm so used to using speedy decks. I don't use many slow decks at the minute. I'm just so used to using them that I've been, I don't know, I just acted like a complete spaz and you went for a, for the speed. Let's just hump the air a bit, maybe that'll make us feel better. <laughs> there we go. Oh wow, no toe this turn. Well, I'm going to kill his Goku. Piccolo's going to take a bit of a pound in here. Yes. Okay, that's fine. I gambled on the 110 being good enough. So yeah, Goku is dead. Piccolo should live. Even though that is the damage version of Gogeta. Yeah, you can keep doing that all day, Vados. I don't care. I shouldn't have cared about her first turn, in all honesty. I should have run Piccolo Goku and um, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. God damn it with the counterattacks! I don't know, I have to change some of my settings as well, because I'm probably blowing your eardrums out. I right, turned my mic up and a bit because like people have been saying it's been a bit quiet so I'll see you in editing come on you can live this Goku no you can't because he's going to get a counter attack yep <sighs> this is my luck he's got an every counter attack he's needed Right. Oh dear. Okay, so what do we do here, guys? We're in a pretty shit state. Because counterattacks are screwing me. And he has his ultimate gauge. He doesn't run 01 skills on anything, but these guys are fast enough that they easily outspeed me. Uh... Again, how much damage is he really going to do to my master? No, nah, I can't risk putting Trunks out. He'll just die. I think I had to go with that. I don't think I had any other options. The ultimate's not going to kill anything. Maybe I should have just thrown Piccolo down. I don't know. Yeah. That, that's not surprising. So 
So we'll stick Trunks in the bottom left next turn. I was just checking my mic wasn't on just in case I've been saying anything, but... He should literally do nothing with this. There we go. Can you kill him this turn, please, Piccolo? Thank you. Let's try this. I've got to try... If I can take out Vados this turn, I've actually got a chance. Because Trunks is going to reduce the damage on my Master 30%. If he goes one across the board, we're good. Or if he goes two down the middle, we're good. As long as there's not two in my left column, we're fine. Double up down the right. I don't care. Yes, he doubled up down the middle. That's fine. That's fine. I can live taking um, Vegito and Toa hitting me. There we go. Had to go first there just to make sure we take out um, Vados. Yes! Now it just depends if this 30% reduction from Trunks is going to be enough. No! Stop getting counter-attacks! God damn it. That's what pisses me off more than anything in this game. Fucking the RNG element. And he he has gotten every counter attack he's needed. That's that's got to be 6 at this point at least. Right. Five thousand health. Um Let's go with that. I win on speed, I think, just because of trunks. Okay. If we outspeed, we win. Well, I got the spirit bomb, but that's not exactly what I needed. Although it does guarantee the kills on both his figures. Yes, come on, 300. 290. I'll take the 290. Yes! Whew. How the hell did I win that game? Leave in the comments below how the hell I won that game. Because I don't freaking know. You rage quitting bitch! Oh, that makes me so mad. You just got outplayed and you rage quit. Oh, you pathetic person, really? It was a player match, for Christ's sake. Alright, can I see the people I've played recently because that deserves you know what I don't usually do this this sort of much so I usually say avoid this person god damn it it only says who I've played recently also shout out to uh, Ezo1234 Chief he played some great games with me yesterday so but seriously guys avoid the person I played in that game avoid him kick him out of your lobbies don't join his games this guy is a bitch I so deserved to see that victory screen then. I so deserved it. He had Toa. He had Vados. He had Vegito. He had the advantages he needed there. And he freaking quit. That makes me so, so mad. And he's going to get no punishment for that as well. Which is what makes it even worse. Oh, I'm sorry. That's 
I'm ranting a bit there, but it's just one of the things that really bugs me with this, and it's really pathetic to quit like that, like seriously. But unfortunately, that seems to be the way it goes at the minute. God damn it. I really wanted to see that victory scene tonight. Usually I don't care about seeing the victory, but that one I think I earned to see my character, to see Pepper here, jump in the air in delight as we won. Ah, oh well, that's a long video. That was a long match as well. So if you stayed all the way to the end, thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Each and every single one of you that has supported me. Um, we've hit 425 the other day. Um, I know that... 425 seems like a weird thing to mention, but every 25 is like a milestone for me. So, you know, 425, I mean, at the start of the year, I mean, what are we? We are the 29th of January now? 29th of January. We've got, we've gone up over 225 subscribers in a month. That is insane, guys. And that's all down to you. All you're following, you're liking, you're subscribing, you're sharing if you do with people. It's just awesome. So thank you all. It, it does just truly mean so much to me that uh, you can continue to support me. So, thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I did enjoy it up until the very end there. I, th I think everybody did, because that was a good game. To be fair, in, in all honesty, I was about to give him a good game and send him a friend request after that, because that was close. I mean, I know he had a toe, which probably made it closer than it should have been, but no. That was good, until that DC, but... Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the like button, subscribe for more if you haven't already for more of my Hero Coliseum videos, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notifications when I do upload. Because I'll probably get lost in your sub feed if you don't do that. And uh, I will see you next time.